Getting around the public beach and Gulf Shores during the month of May could be a real challenge. Several big events are planned starting this week for the month of May. Let's bring new, uh, News 5's Debbie Williams. She's live in Gulf Shores. And Debbie, first on the list of all those events down at Gulf Shores, the NCAA Volleyball Championships. Yeah, and it starts Friday, and as you can see that they've already started getting things ready down here at the public beach. This is just the beginning of what promises to be a very busy May. The scaffolding is going up, the chairs and stands waiting on the fans, the public beach being transformed for a national audience. Whoa, here we go. First up, the NCAA Beach Volleyball Championships at one end of the public beach and more volleyball at the other. In conjunction with the national championship, there's a youth volleyball tournament on the west end, which will also bring additional families. There's 200 teams associated with that this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Almost as soon as the tournament ends Sunday, the building begins for the Hangout Music Festival, which is the third weekend in May. We will start closing down certain portions of Gulf Shores and of the beach area so that they can safely build the event. But the main Gulf Place beaches don't actually close until the 15th of May. Barricades are already up, blocking off parking lots, detouring traffic, making getting to the beach difficult at best. But it does bring a lot of people into town, which is good if you're in the economic impact side, not so good if you're trying to enjoy a, a very calm beach weekend. What used to be a lull between spring break and Memorial Day has now turned into a month that rivals the 4th of July. The occupancy rates at our hotels and condominiums is nearly 100 percent. The businesses that are in town have enough business to sustain them through this real lull. And so May has almost turned into as big as a, a summer week. The stage almost set. All the action begins Friday. And if all of that isn't enough, also this week, in the mix is the state high school field and track championships. There is a regional softball championship next week. It all starts with the volleyball, though. That will be nationally televised on ESPN. Live on the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.